Jamaica's Ministry of Finance has extended an invitation to the Small Business Association of Jamaica, SBAJ, to formulate an implementation team to work with the government to strategize the growth and development of its members. The call comes from State Minister in the Ministry of Finance, Favel Williams. Her invitation is in light of the SBAJ announcing its three main goals for 2016 for which it seeks government intervention. The goals were repeated by Mrs. Williams recently at the Small Business Social. To lobby the government to establish an implementation team that will ensure that the sector benefits from the mandatory 15% of total procurement reserved for small businesses and micro enterprises. That's the first area of emphasis. The second area is to collaborate with local and international agencies that are working to promote the MSME sector. And finally, to establish a culture of successful corporate governance in relation to human resource and structural upgrade. Again, I commend you for choosing these areas of emphasis, but I wonder how long have you been waiting for an implementation team to be established? And to say to you that I extend an invitation to you to meet with me to discuss how we can implement the implementation team. Mrs. William notes that the government intervention is always necessary for the success of the private sector of any economy. In light of this, she notes that there may be space in the capital budget to assist small businesses, but this may only work if the implementation team is established. The capital budgets across central government and the public bodies for fiscal year 2016-2017 is $105.9 billion. This is up from $92.9 billion last year. And this does not include opportunities that may be available in the programs, and programs this year is estimated at $140 billion. So if we just take the capital budget, the $105 billion, and apply 15%, that's by my calculation, almost $16 billion. Not that I'm saying that this is going to happen this year, um, but if there is something there that is mandatory for you, um, all I'm pointing to is the size of the opportunity that could be available if we can figure out how to implement the implementation team. Responding to a question from the Small Business Association of Jamaica, Mrs. Williams notes that there are government policies to facilitate job creation. One of the major ones, she notes, is the junior stock market. This is why, she says, the former Jamaica Labour Party government was keen on reviving the market when it took office in 2007. When we took a look at the performance of the market, at the time there were 23 companies listed on the junior stock exchange and they had raised over $4.3 billion from the market. 797 new permanent jobs were created at these companies since they listed on the Juno market. Prior to listing, the companies generated $243.5 million of PAYE. Having listed, they generated $479 million of PAYE, a 96.5% increase. National insurance payments tell the same story. Prior to listing, the companies paid 51 million of NIS. That figure is up by 120% to 112 million as a result of being listed. National Housing Trust contribution also jumped from 79 million to 148 million, an increase of 87%. On the GCT front, payments from these companies were, was, uh, were $225 million prior to listing. GCT for these listed companies totaled some $984 million, up 337%. Um, so you can see that as an avenue for growth and for job creation. Mrs. Williams notes that taxation is another job creation avenue. An economy such as ours, with such low economic growth rate, needs a jump start. Tax policy that is broad-based across the board, non-distortive, is one avenue. And ideally, the shift uh, that we recently did from direct income tax to indirect consumption tax would, would have the greatest impact
in terms of growth and job creation if there was not a need for offset in revenue measures. But given the country's particular circumstances, it was essential that we designed and implemented in the way we did. We see it as a stimulus for job creation.